So these old Toyota fuel injection systems with the flapper door in here, they have something called a circuit opening relay. Um, it controls the fuel pump. It's basically like a fuel pump relay. Um, it's got two positions. So if you're cranking the engine over, that turns the fuel pump on. Then there's a second set that if you're, um, if the flapper door is open and the key's on, like, you know, for instance, if the engine's running, it's gonna open this door, that turns the fuel pump on. So when you crank it, it gives it fuel. And then the second it starts, you let off and then it's powering it um, from the flapper door being open. Uh, I think that's like a safety thing, honestly. I've seen people jump it out. Um, in my opinion, Toyota put it there for a reason. I'm gonna replace the relay. Um, but I see it gives a lot of people problems. They're looking all over the place to figure out why their, their vehicle's not running. Um, so let me explain it, you know, show it how it works, uh, all that stuff. Um, this might also be, a, you know, apply to other um, like older Nissan Datsun stuff that had like this airflow meter. They probably all had like a similar system. They might call it a different relay, but I'm betting they have the similar relay in there. Um, so I've had it break on me twice. Um, the first time I was just driving along and it just cut out, no warning, nothing. Uh, it didn't start running bad, just cut out, turned off. Um, and then I sat there for 20 minutes you know, trying to figure out what was wrong. It started back up and I was able to get home. Um, I didn't really know a lot at the time, so I didn't really know about the relay. It took me a while to figure figure out that's what was wrong. Um, so that's why I'm making this video for everybody. I know it's kind of a tricky one. Uh, second time, this is the one that happened just two days ago on me. Uh, I pulled away from the gas pump. I got about two feet and it turned off. Um, so I think it, you know, the cranking um, fuel pump kicked on and then when I turned the key off I think there was no fuel running and didn't run. Um, luckily I keep a little wire in there. Um, this is to jump my timing out but I also keep it in there because uh, you can jump the fuel pump out as well in this diagnostic port here. Um, as from what I've seen most most Toyotas you can jump out the timing and the fuel pump. Um, they just might have different plugs and stuff. Um, the Celicas have like rounder plugs on the older ones and stuff. Uh, so just be aware of where those are and that's a good way you can, you can do a quick test or maybe get home. Uh, if you're stuck on the side of the road, you just have a nice piece of wire that'll stay in there. You can jumper it out. Um, let me show you where it is on, on this truck and uh, it will vary depending upon your, your car. So you'll have to, or truck or whatever. So you'll have to look it up. Um, to figure it out, but typically it's going to be somewhere under the dash is what I found. So on my truck, the circuit open, opening relay is on the passenger side. Uh, my speaker is out of here, so I'm just going to go through here and unplug it. You might have to go up underneath here. Um, and it looks like I bought the, I might have bought the cheap one last time. Uh, I got about six to eight years out of it. Um, this time I bought the Denso one, so hopefully it'll last, uh, 34 years or whatever, again, 30 years, however long that was. Um, so let's get it installed. Got them out. I got the new Denso one to go in. So I think this was just a no-name junk one. Um, yeah, so hopefully that'll last a lot longer. Let's see if it starts after this. All right, here's the moment of truth. Let's see if it worked. That's a common fix that gets people stumped all the time. Uh, if you got any questions for me, leave them in the comments. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I got all sorts of videos on this truck. So good luck, guys, and take care. So I took the relay apart just to see. I don't know. I think it's fun sometimes to look at them and see what's wrong. Um, the cylindrical thing, that's a capacitor. Helps give it a little more juice when the... Uh, contacts first close get them closing but this is your your contact here so this is what what closes right here uh, let's see if it'll zoom in yeah they're not super centered so not great quality um, honestly I think the contacts are just carboned up I think that's what the problem is everything else looks halfway decent uh, my other one was like melted the first one that I took out a long time ago um, so I think that's just a case of buying the cheap one. The, uh, contacts aren't great on them and 
you probably didn't expect it to even last that long with the cheap manufacturer so uh, good thing I got the Denso in there hopefully that holds up better <laughs> 